Pebble, a company who started the first revolution of smartwatches. They had one of the biggest success on Kickstarter, giving us the original Pebble, Pebble Time, and the Steel series. Also, they were even able to release a second gen model of their smartwatches. However, that only lasted a short minute, but more on that later. Two years ago in 2016, they were bought out by Fitbit for $23 million and all Pebble watches were discontinued. You might be wondering why the heck am I talking about Pebble today in 2018? Well, that's because I bought myself a brand new Pebble Time and wanted to see if it's still worth it. What's up guys, it's Quan here, back with another video and welcome to the first ever Tech of Futures Past. A series where I take a look at past tech and see whether or not they're still worth it. The first question that comes into mind is that does it even still work? Well, I can in fact say it still does. But to call it a smartwatch is a bit debatable. Yes, you can receive notifications, check the weather, and set reminders using your voice. But if you expect to be making calls or replying to messages, well, it doesn't do that. But let's not focus on what it can't do, and let's focus what it can do. And quite honestly, what it can do, it does it really, really well. You can still buy Pebble smartwatches brand new on Amazon or used on eBay. The Pebble app is still available on the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store. However, the last update was in 2016. This update allowed all Pebble watches to keep its basic functionality without having to connect to the Pebble server. Everything is running through your phone via Bluetooth, and with the Pebble app, you are still able to pick and choose from a variety of different watch faces, as well as download some productivity apps. That includes something like Gmail, Twitter, and more. But also, there's even some games that I did not expect to find. However, the caveat is that these are from third-party developers, and support for them is pretty much non-existent at this point but they'd still work. As for the build quality, the Pebble Time is actually quite nice. It's made of aluminum and plastic with a Gorilla Glass screen. It uses a colored e-paper display. It might not be the brightest or color-saturated display out there, but I do like how it reminds me of an old Game Boy Advance screen. The screen is polarized, which makes it very visible outside in direct sunlight, but at night, it has some trouble. The backlight is decent at best, and it does make the colors on the screen look a little washed out. Overall, the look of the Pebble Time combines both a modern and retro aesthetic together. When it comes to wearability, it's pretty slim and the silicone watch band is very comfortable to wear. I can sleep with the Pebble Time pretty comfortably at night. And technically, you can wear the Pebble Time while in the shower, as it is water resistant up to 30 meters. When it comes to build quality, it might not be able to compete with the Apple Watches or Android Wear out there, but it does have its advantages. And one of those advantages comes from its battery life. With its always on-screen display, the Pebble Time can last me close to a full week without needing to charge it. And when it does need to be charged, it only takes one hour for it to be fully charged. Okay, even though it has a Gorilla Glass screen and metal frame, it is pretty prone to scratches. You're going to see this on a lot of used Pebble Times out there. That is why I put a screen protector and a D-brand skin on my Pebble Time. As always, I'll put the links to the ones that I use in the description down below. But overall, with this black cameo skin and customizable watch face, I can make my Pebble Time look a lot more unique compared to other smartwatches out there. As I mentioned before, most of its functionality will be receiving notifications, changing between different watch faces, and setting alarms and alerts. Receiving notifications is quick and simple. You will feel a quick buzz when something comes in and you can change how long it will be displayed on the screen. There's also an audio player app that I use a lot. It connects with your phone and you're able to play, pause, and change volume when listening to your favorite music and podcast. As for the fitness tracking and sleep tracking, I'm not sure if it actually works. I can't really say that it tracks my steps and sleep hours all that accurately, 
since there's no built-in heart rate monitor. But I'm not actually using the Pebble Time as a health tracker. You could say the Pebble Time is more of a smart notification band than an actual smartwatch in 2018. Overall, the things that I do like about the Pebble Time is everything I want from a smartwatch. I can see and receive notifications at a quick glance, set my morning alarms, and play around with different watch faces. It is very comfortable to wear, and I love the always on screen display. And with its long battery life and quick charge, the Pebble Time easily fits into my lifestyle. Even though the Pebble brand is practically dead, and I wish Fitbit would have tried to incorporate the Pebble ecosystem better, is the Pebble Time still worth it? Well, that is debatable. If you're looking for a cheap smartwatch for around $100 or less, and just want something that can give you quick notifications, some customizability, and a long battery life, then the Pebble Time might be a good pick for 2018. But if you don't like the uncertainty of its hanging by a thread lifespan and looking for something that has more functionality, you should probably be looking at Apple Watch or something Android Wear. But as for me, I like the fact that the Pebble Time is an actual timepiece and I can see myself wearing this until the ends of days. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't yet, and tap that bell for the latest update. That would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, as always, you can catch me on all the social media. I'm at Fun for Two, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!